Hey everybody, this is Paul. In this tutorial, I'm going to be explaining how to delete a node from a binary search tree. So when we're looking at deleting nodes from a binary search tree, we're going to run into one of three different possibilities. So in the first case, the node that we want to delete may not have any children. In the second case, our node may have one child. And in the third case, the node that we want to delete might have two children. So depending on which one of these three situations we run into, we're going to delete the node in a different way. So let's go ahead and start with the first case where the node that we want to delete has no children. So I've drawn this red pointer here. You can think of this as the deletion pointer. It's now pointing to the node that we want to delete. And every node in the tree is always going to have some pointer pointing to it, whether or not it's a pointer from a parent node, or it could possibly be the root pointer. And so what we're going to do in the case where we have no children is we're simply just going to delete this node right here. So now we've deleted that node and then we just want to make sure that the pointer that was pointing to that node is now pointing to null. The case where we have zero children is pretty easy. We simply just delete the node and make sure that the pointer that was pointing to it is now pointing to null. So now that we've talked about deleting a node with zero children, Let's look at the next case where we want to delete a node with one child. So here I've drawn a deletion pointer. It's pointing to the node that we want to delete. And this node has one child node here. And this child node may be pointing to a whole other subtree via its left and right pointers. So we want to make sure that we still have this part of the tree once we've deleted this node right here. So what we could do is we could place a pointer here to just to mark this node right here so that way we don't lose it once we delete this node right here. So now we have this node here, the child node that we want to reattach to the tree marked with a pointer and then we'll just need to make sure that we have a way to access this pointer as well. So once we have everything marked appropriately with our pointers we can simply delete this node right here and then once we've got that node deleted we'll want to instruct this pointer right here to now point to the child node. So now at this point, we have the pointer that was pointing to the node that we just deleted, now pointing to that node's child. And by doing this, we reconnect the tree and retain all of its properties. So now let's look at the case where we're trying to delete a node, and that node has two children. So if we were to just go ahead and delete this node right here, we would run into a problem because if this node was gone, then we would have to reconnect the pointer that is pointing to that node. We would have to reconnect this pointer to either this node's left child or right child. And so if we choose to connect this pointer to this node's left child, then we're going to lose all the information in the right subtree. And if we choose to make this pointer point to only the right child, then we're going to lose the information in this node's left subtree. Neither one of those options are going to work for us because we don't want to lose any information in our binary search tree just because we want to delete a node. So what we're going to do is we're not actually going to delete this node right here. What we're going to do is we're going to find the smallest key in this node's right subtree. And once we find the node that contains the smallest key of this node's right subtree, we're going to take the information from that node and we're going to overwrite the information in this node that we want to delete with the information that we found in the node that contained that smallest key in the right subtree. And so by doing that, that key is now greater than all of the keys in the left subtree and it's less than all of the keys in this node's right subtree. So how exactly does that work? So if we think about this, we already know that whatever key was in here previously has a key value that's greater than everything in its left subtree. But it also has a value that is smaller than every key in its right subtree. That means that every key in the right subtree is going to be greater than every key in the left subtree. So we can take any key value out of the right subtree place it in this node and it's still going to be greater than any key in the left subtree. So as far as the left subtree is concerned, we can take any value out of here and still satisfy the properties of a binary search tree. If we want to make sure that the right subtree satisfies the properties, we're going to need to find the smallest value of all the keys in the right subtree. Because by taking the smallest value, 
and placing it in here, we still have a key value greater than every value in the left subtree, but smaller than every value in the right subtree. So the properties of the binary search tree are satisfied. So once we take the information from the node containing the right subtree's smallest key, and we place that information in here, then we can just go ahead and delete that node that had the smallest key in this node's right subtree. Once we get to that point, that node is always going to fall under the condition that it has either zero children or one child. And the reason for that is, if it has the smallest key value, then it can still have nodes with greater key values attached to its right pointer, but it can't have any values attached to its left pointer. It will either have one child or it may have zero children. So then we can just go ahead and delete that node by the same methods that we use to delete either zero children or one child. So anyway, that's how you delete a node from a binary search tree. Thank you guys for watching, and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.